people don't recognize how sacred sex is. They tend to think it's just something that you do when you come of age and it's enjoyable and it's for having children. It's a lot more than that. And so we have lost Western civilization, I, would, I, I, I always refer to it as, they have lost the true meaning of what the sexual union is. It is a sacred union between the masculine and the feminine principle in order for both to achieve uh, uh, levels of, of spiritual enlightenment. So that has now been removed that's a knowledge that has been removed. So we're just basically just operating on the base levels of enjoyment and sensual uh, attachment. Now, when you have sexual intercourse with another person, there is an exchange that surpasses mental, emotional, and physical. That exchange is difficult to quantify, but consider this. If you are in my field, my physical, in proxim physical proximity to me, you are going to now be in my auric or energy field, and I in yours. There is going to be a mixing of our energy fields. Our energy fields don't only consist of our vibrations, but they also consist of intelligence. They consist of um, trauma. Mm -hmm. They consist of emotions. And they consist of karma. So when we mix with someone, we literally are taking on their energetic uh, field. We're taking on their karmic. And when I say karmic, I'm talking about ancestral, I'm talking about lineage, thousands of years of energy. And I'm also talking about ancestral. I, 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 and I, I hesitate to say this, but I'm going to say it because it's a reality in the spiritual realm. There are ancestral curses that stay with people, they don't know that they, they're having them. You know, in Jamaica, we'll say, boy, that person's salt. No, it's because they have a lot of heavy karma from their family lineage. It can be cleansed if people are aware of it and then seek to have it addressed. So when you have sexual intercourse, you're having all of that. How do you undo it? That's difficult because when there is intercourse, there is also a soul tie. So this is why breaking up is so difficult. It's traumatic, it's emotional because it wasn't just a friendship or a relationship or a sexual uh, uh, interaction. It was actually a soul tie. And so it, it, it takes a bit of undoing. The recommendation, therefore, is that you minimize the number of partners just to preserve your energy field and to minimize the amount of clutter and debris of an emotional, spiritual, mental nature that you can be taking in. So the idea is to keep yourself pure, as pure as possible, keep your energy pure and to seek a partner that has a similar energetic pattern or imprint as yours. And we've all, we've all seen our friends at one time or the other end up with someone that is so divergent, but not in a opposites attract cute kind of way but in, in, a, in a destructive way where you can see where one is going to be pulled down energetically by the other. Mm -hmm. My reference to the ancestral curse kind of thing is this. Have you ever seen a couple get together and everything was fine for one of them 
and the minute they got together with the other person, every single thing started to go wrong in their life, in their career, in their health, in their relationships, in every way. Sometimes it's as simple as those, that particular interaction or those multiple interactions. So we have to take care. And then there's people who will say, oh, I know a lot of people and they're, they have multiple, and they're fine. They appear fine in the physical, but in the mental, emotional, and spiritual realm, they are a mess. And it's important to emphasize here that a lot of the people we see around and the physical is beautiful and everything is beautiful and even the financial looks like they are flying on cloud 11 all that glitters is not gold we don't know what's happening on the inside and we don't know what's happening at the mental emotional spiritual levels